Good morning po sa ating lahat at uh, nagagalak po ako na kasama ko kayo. At, uh, magiging taglish po tayo ngayon dahil uh, we have friends from Ghana. And actually I thank uh, Brother Kelly for the prayer. And uh, do you know why before the sermon there is a prayer being held, a congregational prayer? being pushed through before the sermon it is because so that our worry will be gone and we can focus on the word of God so ang nangyayari binigay natin ang prayer natin lahat ng mga problema natin lahat ng mga pangailangan natin binigay na natin bakit? so that ngayon ay panahon para makinig hindi yung iisipin pa natin yung mga problema natin. So, thank you, Brother Kelly, for that uh, wonderful congregational prayer. At uh, it's been a long time na ako po ay nakapag tayo rito sa inyong harapan. Uh, at ako po ay nagagalak na nakita na naman po kayo. At uh, it's really a blessing to to me and uh, to everybody na tayo na naman ay nagkakita-kita. So as we start, uh, let us uh, all stand and give reverence to the word of the Lord. At makikita po yan sa John 11, verse 1 to 16. There's already a slide there, so you can follow me as we read the word of the Lord. John 11, verse 1. Now a certain man was sick. Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was the Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. So the sister sent word to him saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. But when Jesus heard this, he said, this sickness is not to end in death but for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified by it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when they heard that he was sick, he then stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to the disciples, let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now seeking to stone you. And are you going there again? Verse 9, Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in a day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. This he said, and after that he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go so that I may awaken him out of sleep. The disciples said, then said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. Now Jesus spoken with his death, but they thought that he was speaking of literal sleep. So Jesus then said to them plainly, Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there so that you may believe, Amen. but let us go to him. Therefore Thomas, who is called Didymus, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go so that we may die with him. Lord, salamat po sa pagkabasa ng iyong salita. I really thank you, Lord, for uh, this opportunity to share the word of God to our fellow brethren. And may you continue to bless me, O Lord. Amen, let your light shine upon me, O Lord. Let be me, let be your son, Jesus Christ, be my mouthpiece of your word, O God. And all those who hear the word of the Lord will be blessed, not empty-handed when they go out from this place, O God, but to share the blessing that they receive today. May you continue to bless us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Pwede na po tayo mga kaupo. Salamat po. 
So, kung makikita niyo sa baba, ang pamagat is, if we believe, we will see the glory of God. To give you a brief introduction, not about the topic, but the whole gospel, ay paalala lang ko. Kung sino man ang nagbabasa ng Matthew, we must always focus that in Matthew, Jesus is presented as a promised king yes. and a Messiah of Israel. So when you read the book of Matthew, yun na kaagad ang may isip ninyo. It is about presenting Jesus as a promised king. In the Gospel of Mark, Jesus is presented as a servant prophet. So, pag masakay ng Mark, maalala ka agad na he is our servant prophet in the book of Mark. So in the Luke, in book of Luke, Jesus is presented as a perfect man walking among the people of the world. So sinabi dyan, behold the man. So John, which is uh, the topic that I will uh, discuss, is Jesus is presented as God. So kung babasahin ninyo sa book of John, there is no parable anymore. It is more on a direct presentation of God. So, we are talking about John chapter 10 and actually in Sarja, I started from John chapter 1 at umabot na kami sa John chapter 10 which is ngayon sana kung ako ang nandun is we will discuss about chapter 11. So, I just want to, to share this uh, word of the Lord so that you will also know that God, ito na po yung chapter that God will be in the following chapter 12 and 13, uh, 13 to 21 na doon na nagkakaroon ng yung si Jesus Christ sa passion of the cross. So this is the last one and this chapter can be divided into four. At ang tatalakayan ko lang po is yung one. So, in this book of John, there are seven miracles the Gospel of John discussed. Unang-una sa chapter 2, nagkaroon siya ng miracle in turning water into wine. In chapter 4, the healing of the noble son. And in John 5, restoring the impotent man and John chapter 6 multiplying the loaves and fishes John chapter 6 also walking on the water and John chapter 9 curing of the man born blind at saka yung John 11 which we will discuss is about giving life to a dead man named Lazarus so chapter 10 verse 40 to 42 katapusan po ng chapter 10 mark the end of Jesus' public ministry. This is the time that Jesus ay hindi na siya nakihalubilo sa mga Jews. But it is the time to make a privacy and to minister His disciples. So, if you go to the following verse, chapters 13 to 21, this record of the Passion of Christ. So, makikita po natin na if chapter 1 to 10 is talking about the hatred and rejection of the Gentile, the Jews, then it came to chapter 11 that we will see the blessed witness of the glory of God. So there are seven miracles nga na sinabi natin, and if this seven is a significant number in the Bible, kasi kung titingnan natin sa Revelation, there are seven churches, mayroong sinasabing seven seals, Kriniate ang ating pang, uh, ang mundo within seven days. So kung magtataka kayo, it is a seven is uh, really a good number. Or sasabihin natin a majestic number sa, pa, sa, sa the Bible, sa loob ng Biblia. So is this the first time na nag-grace si Jesus ng patay? Hindi po. Because in uh, Mark, Jesus raised Jairus' daughter. Alam po natin yun. And in Luke, Jesus raised the son of a widow of Nain. So this is not the first time. Anong pinagkakaiba nito sa 
resurrection ni Lazarus. Itong dalawa na sinasabi natin, the Jesus raised Jairus' daughter, at saka itong si, yung kay, uh, the son of the widow in Nain, Jesus raised them, them in one day itself. Pagkamatay nila, binuhay siya kaagad. But the difference of this miracle where Lazarus was healed is that it took four days bago niya na-heal. Kung iisipin natin, ano kaya yung tsura ng patay, four days na, na nakalipas. Siguro na tigas na, nagnas na, di ba? At hindi na, wala nang init, di ba? Minsan siya i-decay. Nag-decay na siya. Correct? So kung nag-decay siya, napaka-magnificent na binuhay pa siya ng Panginoon. Di ba? Biruin mo four days. At saka wala pong kuwan doon, di ba? Hindi katulad sa Egyptian, the Egyptian binabalot, di ba? Taral, may may preservative sila. But in this particular time, wala. So, if you realize how a four-day person died in actual sense, you will see that decay was already there. Maybe his uh, skin already uh, dry. At makikita natin na matigas na. There is no blood flowing anymore. Pero, yung si Jairus, yung anak niya, at saka yung buwan, at that time namatay, parang natulog lang at binuhay. Diba? So this is the one of the most significant why this is so-called one of the seven miracles that God performed in the Gospel of John. So, hihimay-himayin po natin ang every verse na ating tatalakayin. Verse 1. Sabi dyan, Now a certain man was sick, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Pag sinabing a certain man, ano mo yung makikita mo? Mayroon nangyari and we don't know anything about this man. Di ba? A certain man. Siguro nagkataon lang talaga na si Lazarus. But we have no idea kung ano yung past niya at that time. We can assume that Lazarus is a believer of Jesus Christ because kung babasahin natin ang the later on, Jesus loved him. A believer siya because Jesus loved him. We can also assume that he's a believer of Christ because his sisters confirmed that in verse 27, sabi niya, Lord, says Martha, I have believed that you are the Christ and the Son of God. And even he, who he comes into the world. So, makikita natin na, mag-assume tayo na, he is a believer of Christ. Kasi kinonfirm ni Martha at saka ni Mary. So, kung susumahin natin, the family is having a relationship with Christ. So, his name, Lazarus, kung titingnan natin, mayroon din pong Lazarus sa uh, Luke 19, uh, 16, verse 19 to 31. Itong Lazarus na yun ay ibang Lazarus na ito, ha? Because the Lazarus that, that Luke is talking is about the Lazarus and the rich man. Di ba? Yun po yung uh, Lazarus na nandoon sila kay Abraham Bosom and the rich man said to Abraham, send Lazarus back from the dead to warn my brothers. Diba? Yun ang sinabi niya. So, this Lazarus is a different Lazarus. Kung titignan natin sa Old Testament, Lazarus derived in Hebrew as Eleazar. Eleazar. So, means to say, it is a pang, uh, old Hebrew familiar name. Kaya maraming Lazarus. Madidiscuss din natin na maraming Mary. Kung titingnan natin. Eh, within the passion of the cross, makikita natin na maraming Mary na pakita doon. So itong Lazarus pala, ang ibig sabihin nito, the word 
Elizar, Eli, Elizar, or Lazarus is whom God helps. So timing na timing sa pangalan niya. Biruhin mo na matay siya, four days after, binuhay siya. So, that is the meaning of Lazarus. So they live in the So they live in Bethany at kung tinitingnan natin after chapter 10 verse 40 umalis yung ating Panginoon dahil gusto na siyang batuhin ng mga Jews. Ang pinuntahan po ni Jesus Christ is Bethany din. Kung titingnan natin sa mapa Bethany Ito yung Bethany na nandoon ngayon si Jesus Christ at ito ang Bethany na nandoon si Lazarus and Martha and Mary. So this is a part in a Jordan River. Okay? So nandito ngayon si Jesus Christ. Kaya nga sinabi doon na nagpadala ng message, a messenger sent to Bethany sa Panginoon and it took one day of travel. So, paano ang means of travel is hindi ko alam. O nagkabayo ba sila? O may BMW ba siya? O ano ba? O may motor siya ni Mac na kuhan, hindi siguro aabot ng one day. So, makikita natin that it took one day that the message will be brought to Jesus Christ. So, Makikita natin na the Bethany that was where Lazarus was uh, being placed is in this Bethany which is very close to Jerusalem. Okay? Clear po ang ating historical? So Bethany is two miles from the eastern wall of Jerusalem down the back slope of Eastern Wall across the Kidrock Brook and the Mount of Olives. So, Bethany, kung ma-picture out natin, is just a small village. So, in Hebrew, Bethany means house of the poor or house of poverty. So, the characteristic of the other Bethany is that Dandoon po yung Panginoon busy ministering and many believers and many people believe in Him in the other Bethany. So they have a wonderful ministry there in the other side of Bethany across Jordan River and they are enjoying that really God really bless them na makasama sila. And this Bethany, on the other side of the Jordan, where John the Baptist baptized. Doon po yung lugar na yun. So Mary is kapatid siya ni Martha at ni Lazarus. Ang Mary naman is a very common name sa lugar in the, New, in the Old Testament, in the New Testament. So when we go to the story, Makikita natin na maraming Mary na mababanggit dyan. And mayro pang mga variation na tinawag pa ang Mary na Miriam. So kung makikita natin, ito po si Miriam ay kapatid ni Moses. So tinawag si Miriam as a savior, uh, the one who saved the life of Israel during Moses' time. So, kaya nga maraming tinatawag na Miriam, di ba? Maraming mga pala na Mary, Mary Grace, di ba? Mayroon din Miriam, Miriam Dictionary, di ba? Mayroon din Mary. Oh, yun, mayroon? Ayun, hindi pa lang. So, these two names are very common. So, in verse 2, it was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair whose brother Lazarus was sick. Hindi ba kayo nagtataka na it was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment? Na kung titignan po natin, 
itong story na ito that Jesus uh, that Mary was anointed by uh, Mary uh, anoints Jesus yung ginawan siya ng perfume is sa chapter 12 pa makikita so sa taka ka bakit chapter 11 diniskas na hindi pa kayo natatanong doon di ba bakit diniskas na siya na hindi pa naman dumating sa chapter 12 so ang paliwanag po dyan is itong Mary na ito is already been discussed in Matthew and in Mark. So, kung titignan ninyo, si John po ay may malaking difference bago niya sinulat ang gospel katulad ng uh, compared to Mark and Matthew. So, in Matthew 26, 6.13, makikita natin na Mary anoints Christ at sa Mark 14, 3 to 9, makikita natin that Mary anoints Christ. So there is a gap between the story. So means to say, this story was very common sa panahon na ni John. So kung kikaw natin, mga matatanda na to sila <laughs> na unang nasulat ang Matthew and Mark baga sumulat si John. So makikita natin na Sinabi dyan na Lazarus was sick. So kung sasabihin natin Lazarus was sick, we don't know kung ano yung sakit niya. It is not discussed kung ano yung sakit niya. Walang nakakalam at nakadiagnose kung ano talaga ang sakit niya. But, yung sickness na ito is not to end in death, but to give glory to God. May rules, may, before chapter 11, in chapter 9, there is also a blind, bo, uh, born blind man who was also healed by God para makita sa mga Jews that He is powerful to give glory sa ating Panginoon. So, itong Maraming mga sakit. There are different types of sickness. Di ba? May sickness that is uh, natural sickness. Katulad kung mag-cancer ka, baka yung you have a bloodline which is having uh, may sakit na cancer. Marami po. There are natural sickness na nangyayari sa buhay. And there is also a sickness that is a discipline from God. Mayroon din sickness na binigyan ka ng sickness to discipline you. Naniniwala ba kayo nun? Mayroong mga sakit na talagang binigay sa inyo ng Panginoon to correct your life. To correct and to stop all the sinfulness that you are doing. And there is also sickness that will give glory to God. Yun na yung pinakita ng ating Panginoon about kay Lazarus. Sabi nga, the sickness that is divine judgment is makikita sa Acts 12.23. That anong sinabi dyan? He's eaten with worms, but there is sickness that is, that is to give glory to God. So alam na natin ngayon na si Lazarus is, is may sakit at critical ang kanyang sakit. At ang sinabi dyan, that this sickness will be glory to God in verse 4. But in verse 3, anong sinabi dyan? So the sister sent word to him saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. So ngayon, nagbigay na ng message. Si Martha, uh, si Mary at Martha, nagpadala sila ng sulat. O siguro, may inutusan sila na magdala. So kung gaano katagal makareach yung sulat is one day yung sinabi. Okay, hindi na katulad ngayon, may sakit, text ka lang, dating na. Di ba? Dati, walang mga cellphone, tatagal pa. Di ba? Bago maka, makarating. Katulad lang yun ng send money. Noon, abot pa ng isang buwan, 
Bago mo marating yung sulat na kailangan na kailangan na ng pera, ngayon matindi na. Isang text na lang, dating na kaagad. Pagdating pa, mas mabilis ka mga problema. Saan ako kukuha na ipapanala? Di ba? Hindi. Kaya ang technology is very advanced na, di ba? Ang bilis. Lalo-lalo na na wala man lang kumustahan na nangyayari. Ang sanasabi ka agad, padala ka naman dyan. Ha? Wala man lang, uy, nasa magandang pong ka ba? Are you in good health? Are you okay? Are you fine? Are you blessed? Wala. Send money na lang. Please send money. Okay? Oh. So in this time, sinabi dyan, sabi ng sulat, or kung sino man yung pinadala, hindi natin alam, or nakasulat ba yun, or verbal man lang sinabi sa Panginoon, sinabi dyan, Lord, behold, Itong salitang behold means this is urgent, this is sudden, and this is this demands immediate response. Sabi dyan, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. So kung makikita natin, urgent siya, di ba? Very urgent requirement of the sisters. Pero kung makikita ninyo, walang demand na nangyari. There is no instruction. Walang sinabi na, Lord, pumunta ka na. Di ba? They don't, they don't demand na, Lord, i-heal mo siya dahil may sakit siya. Wala. Sabi lang niya, heal you love is sick. So ano tong klaseng love na to? So this love is not agapaw or not a divine love but a friendly love. A love of a friend. Pileo. So, kung makikita natin, this will see that Jesus Christ has a human love. Kita nyo ang buwan niya? So the Lord has a personal affection to Lazarus. And this time, we will see that he, all, he is not only a man, but he is also a God. Nagpakatao siya, he lived, he hungered, he thirst, he sleep, he's weary. Normal na tao. Pero Diyos. So, if God become a man and He is God, gusto ba ninyong yung Diyos ninyo? Gusto ko yung Diyos na tao para makasalamuan, pero gusto ko siya Diyos na Diyos. And this is what God represent. He is a merciful God and a faithful servant of our Lord. So, He has this sympathy to extend relationship. So this is what is meant by the love that is talked and uh, that is being discussed on verse 3. And in verse 4, sinabi dyan, but when Jesus heard this, He said, this sickness is not to end in death, but for the glory of God, so that the Son of Man may be glorified by it. So it is not going to end death. Alam po natin na matay na. Because when pinadala pa lang, sick pa lang, di ba? Pero hindi natin alam, during nagdaklakbay na yung tao, nadala-dala ang message, uh, message ng, ng message para sa Panginoon, baka na matay na. Di ba? Hindi natin alam. Patay na siya. Okay? So, but that time, Alam na natin na patay na. So, pero ang sinabi dyan is, this sickness is not to end in death. So it is a promise of God na sinabi niya yun na hindi ito magtatapos dito. So may purpose ang Panginoon. Bakit? 
niya sinabi yan. So in verse 5, now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So dito naman, nag-change naman itong love na to. Bakit? This love is now agapao. So this is a divine love. Because why? Because the sister is have a relationship and truly believe that God is His Lord and Savior. So there is a spiritual relationship between Martha, Mary, and Lazarus to Jesus Christ. He loves His own. At alam po natin na tayo din bilang mga tao is minahal din tayo ng Panginoon. Kung minahal na Jesus Christ itong mga tao ito, tayo ba ay hindi minahal ng Diyos? We are also loved by our God. Because why? Because we know that we accepted Him as our personal Savior. So tinawag din tayo ang anak niya spiritually. Then, you have that relationship with Him. And that is an agapaw love. So in verse 6, So when they heard that he was sick, he then stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Krabi talaga si Jesus Christ. Urgent. A message. Naghintay pa siya ng two days. So the purpose was, ipapakita niya talaga sa mga tao doon that this is not death. Hindi yung death na magtatapos kung hindi papakita niya na he is glorified by this resurrection. So, when he says this, two days, so makikita natin, two days, nakara one day nakara nakarating ang messenger, nagstay pa siya ng two days, Pupunta na naman si Jesus Christ doon sa Bethany, near Jerusalem, another day, so four days na. At alam niyo ba kung ano yung sinabi ng Panginoon after two days? Sabi niya, He said to His disciple, Let us go to Judea again! Kung ikaw ang disciple ni Jesus Christ, at alam mo In the following chapters, ay gustong patayin si Jesus sa mga Jews. Anong gagawin nyo? Ha? Tatakot siguro, di ba? Mano to suicide? Pupunta na lang tayo doon. Na alam naman tayo na ang alam ng buong kudyo ang mga Jews na gusto siyang patayin. Sabi ng kuha nila, ng mga disciples, Lord, dito na lang tayo. Mas maganda rito eh. Kasi, you preach, maraming nag-believe. So, it is a great time na nandito tayo. Maraming naniniwala sa inyo. Walang batuhan na nangyayari rito. Walang gustong matay sa inyo. So, nung sinabi, let's go to Judea again, ang na-feel ng kuan is there is a worst fear na naramdaman ng mga disciple. Kaya ang sinabi ng mga disciple, sabi niya, Rabbi, the Jews were just not seeking to stone you and you are going there again? Pupunta ka na naman doon. Ano ba, Lord? Bakit ba? Are you thinking properly? Are you mad? Alam mo namang, there is a high risk that will happen if bumalik tayo doon. Pero anong sinabi? Sa verses 9 and 10, Jesus answered, ito, maganda to. Are there not 12 hours in a day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, but he sees the light of this world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. We must remember that this is a proverb. Okay? This is a proverb that one that God wants His disciple understand. So what is the point of this proverb? 
So why would you step back into this and hear his answer? Sabi niya, the proverb is very simple. You can't lengthen the day. Hindi mo mapapaiksi yung day. At hindi mo rin mapapashorten ang night. Ang night. Ang, hindi mo mapapashorten ang night. So, you cannot lengthen the day and you cannot shorten the daylight. Wala tayong kakayahan. Ang ibig sabihin niyan is, Ang ibig sabihin ng Panginoon is that kung oras mo na, oras mo na. Kung hindi mo pa oras, hindi pa. Kaya kahit pumunta sila doon, alam ng Panginoon na hindi pa niya time na mamamatay siya doon. Mamamatay ang Panginoon after na ng chapter 12. So, Sa ating buhay, there is always a time na mag may problema tayo. Mayroon ding may mga sakit that is being healed because of the advancement of the medicine at sa magagaling na yung mga doktor. Na prolong life nila because God allows it to prolong. At na-shorten yung iba dahil gusto na ni Lord kunin. ang tao na yan. So, the Lord God is very confident that even if He goes back to Bethany to meet Mary and His sister, walang makakapigil sa Kanya. Walang makakastop sa Kanya because the day of the Lord is not yet His time. It is not yet His hour. It is not yet his time to die. So, sabi dyan, no friend can lengthen the daylight, no enemy can shorten the daylight. So in verse 11, this he said, and after he said to them, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go so that may, awake, may awaken him out of sleep. So ito na yun, ang sinabi ng Panginoon is fallen asleep. Ang pagkakaintindi ng mga disipulo is natutulog lang. Kaya sinabi nila, bakit pa tayo pupunta doon? Natutulog lang pala. Kailangan niya ng tulog para makarecover. Yun ang isip ng mga disipulo niya. Para makarecover siya, patulogin mo na lang. Dito na lang talaga tayo. So, makikita mo na saan ang faith ng mga disipulo na to? Bakit nagtadalawang isa? Bakit pinipigilan nila si ang ating Panginoon? So the fallen asleep refers to death. So anong sinabi ng Panginoon sa verse 12? The disciple then said to him, Lord, if has fallen asleep, he will recover. Yun nga sinabi ko, makaka-recover yan, Lord. Huwag ka na, hindi mo na kailangan pumunta doon. You don't need to go there to, to wake up Lazarus. Kaya na nila yun. It is them that will wake up Lazarus. Kasi natutulog na lang. But in verse, so, he will recover, meaning going to gain strength. So in verse 13 to 14, sabi na, Now Jesus had spoken of his death, but they thought that he's speaking literal sleep. So Jesus said to them plainly, Lazarus is dead. So kung makikita natin, akala na nila natutulog. Ngayon, dahil sa kakulitan nila, sinabihan sila ng Panginoon, patay na si Lazarus. So, paray na pala. So, hindi na, hindi na po po, hindi na, hindi pwedeng po kawin. Kailangan talaga natin pumunta, Lord, kasi patay na eh. Di ba? So, kung titignan natin, nandito na ngayon yung climactic na mga mangyayari. Dahil, no choice ang mga disipulo kung hindi sumama. Sabi niya, the Lord declares he's dead, plain and simple. Kailangan niyang buhayin si Lazarus. So in verse 15, sabi niya, I am glad for your sake 
that I was not there so that you may believe, but let us go to him. So my purpose, bakit nagstay siya ng four days bago siya pumunta? Para ipakita niya ang gaano ka-powerful si Jesus Christ to heal a dead man four days already dead. And it is not easy. Di ba? Dahil kuha na eh. Kulubot-kulubot na. Wala nang kabuhay-buhay. Kung kung yung kay Jairus anak at saka yung uh, uh, sa yung widow sa Nain ay nabuhay kaagad, baka sabihin ng iba, ah, natulog lang yun. Rinibive lang ng Panginoon, nabuhay lang. So parang hindi pa sila masyadong naniniwala sa power ng Panginoon dahil one day lang. Eh. Di ba may mga nabubuhay? Nakaakala natin patay na nabuhay pa. Huwag lang yung mga comedy na na nagtatanggap na patay na buhay pa lang. There are times because sometimes God revives pero within minutes lang or within seconds, di ba? Or within hour bago siya nabuhay ulit. But ito, four days, no chance na eh. Ah, wala na ito. Patay na. So bakit niya ginawa ito? Bakit? Sabi niya, I am glad. Bakit pa na kuwang pa Panginoon na namatay ng four days na? Para pala ipakita sa kanila to strengthen their belief to our Lord Jesus Christ. Hindi lang to strengthen them, but also to strengthen the faith of Mary and Martha. So this is a display of the glory of the Lord. So, kung titignan natin, baka sabihin yung kung urgent, kung mahal niya ang si Lazarus, mahal niya yung Mar si Martha at saka si Mary, kahit naman anong gawin nilang mabilis, wala namang eroplano na o po, makarating ka agad siya. So makikita natin that the purpose of the death of Lazarus is to display the glory of God. And that is the truth about this miracle. So in verse 16, Therefore Thomas, who is called Didymus, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, so that we may die with him. Diba? Bili pa ko kay Thomas. Okay? Kung titignan mo, yung Didymus means the twin. Bakit ako napabilib kay Thomas? Because he has the pessimistic courage. Yung ibang mga disipulo ay ayaw na ayaw si Thomas. Sinabi niya, let's go! Para mamatay din tayo katulad si Jesus Christ. <laughs> Krabi yung faith niya, di ba? Tara! O hindi natin alam, baka... Para sinabi na siguro niya, para lang madala yung iba. But, there is a pessimistic on the attitude of Thomas. At yan, punta tayo para kung mamatay si Christ, patay din tayo. And that is what, it is important. Huh? Let us go and die with Him. Are you going to die with Christ? Amen. Are you sure? Amen. Are you sure that you will die for Christ? Amen, di ba? Because God died for us already to save us. Amen? So, bakit tayo matatakot mamatay? Takot pa kayo mamatay? Ha? Correct. Kung time mo na, wala na tayo magagawa, di ba? If it is your time, if it is God's will that you will die today, praise the Lord. Because you will not encounter any more problems in this earth. The earth has full of problems. Pati yung problema ng nanay natin, pinapasa pa sa anak. Marami sa atin nag-aabroad para magpaaral ng mga kapatid. Which is hindi natin trabaho. It is the duty of the parent to let the children go to school and finish his college. Ang problema, Nagbulakbol yung parent. 
dumami pang anak, wala pang trabaho stable, ang nagkaroon pa na nagkahirap-hirap. So ang mga anak na yun, they want to go abroad to help their parents. So us today, as a parent, huwag na natin gayahin yung mga nangyari sa ating mga parents. Because we already know what is right and what is wrong. It is not the, the brother or the sister responsibility to let his sister go to school. Amen? Amen. But we are Christian. We are full of love. We know that Jesus Christ died for us. Kaya maraming mga martir na Pilipino. Pilipino kahit magkutkut sa banyo para may ipadala lang sa Pilipinas. Kaya sabi nila, we are the heroes of the Philippines. Pero pag punta ka sa x-ray, kinutongan ka pa, nabudol-budol pa. Alam mo yan sa Facebook, nabudol-budol, di ba? 8 million? Grabe. Pinaghirapan ng matatanda sa abroad. Wala. So now, my friends, if you see Luke 19.9.23, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. So tatanungin natin yung mga disciple, anong nangyari? Bakit nagdadalawang isip yung mga disciples na bumalik sa Bethany near Jerusalem? Why? It is not because they don't believe. It is not because that they have black faith. But it is because God wants to strengthen their faith. Amen. God wants to strengthen their faith in Him. Not only to the disciples, but also to Mary and Martha. Para mapakita niya na, you are really a glorious God. You are really a God that is so powerful that even a dead person, four days ago already, you can raise him from the dead. So in summary, Kikita natin that there are three evidences to His glory of God. Unang-una, it is pointed to His deity. So, diniklare na Panginoon His incomparable and denial proof that Jesus claims to be the Lord. Amen? Amen? Yes. By the divine nature of the Lord Jesus Christ, He purposely displayed His power and His sovereignty to the people. Number one is, it strengthened the faith of the disciples. During the time when everybody's backing out, then Thomas said, Let's go! Parang, Punta na tayo! Mamatay na tayo sa tayo niya! <laughs> diba? But it is what this is. Be pessimistic. Die for the Lord. Because that is what He commanded you to do. So, it strengthened the faith of the disciples. Means to say, it increased their faith to the Lord. It really strengthened them so that they will see the glorious Christ. The deity of Christ. At saka number three, it led directly to the cross in John chapter 12, verse 23. Dahil, ito na yung time na ipapako na si Jesus Christ sa cross. So the light has been shining in darkness at alam natin that darkness hated light. But they cannot put it down. Hindi nila kayang, hindi mananaig ang darkness sa light. So, the public ministry of Jesus Christ is over. So, with all the evidence provided over three years ministry of Jesus, 
rinejek siya ng mga Jews at binigyan tayo ng pagkakataon, we as Gentiles, to be called the Son of God. And that is the privilege that we are enjoying right now. And this privilege that we have give us the freedom to overcome all our problems, all our trials in life. We must remember that even pasukin natin ang kahit anong problema, kung hindi mo pa oras, or even in a complicated situation that this is a life and death sa buhay natin, if it is not God forbid, then you will not die at this moment. Because all is being held by God. Pag ikaw kristyano at nakikita ng Panginoon na may ginagawa ka pa para sa kanyang kaharian, He will continue to bless you. And this is not your time yet. And the time of the Lord, so don't be afraid to keep on walking, to keep on going where God wants you to be. Kahit pumunta man tayo sa Syria, kung yan ang gusto ng Diyos, pupunta po tayo. Sa Iraq, pupunta po tayo. Sa Saudi, pupunta tayo. If that is the will of the Lord. But it is not saying that huwag na lang tayo pupunta doon dahil baka mamatay tayo. Kahit hindi ka pumunta, kung gusto ng Panginoon mamatay ka ngayon, pupunin ka lang yan. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go on earth money. So this is what the things that God wants us to be. So in conclusion, so what's the purpose of this miracle? The purpose of this miracle is in verse 4 which says, For the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified by it. If we believe, we will see the glory of God. Amen. Tayo manalangin. Lord Heavenly Father, we thank you for a wonderful day that you have shared your word to us, O God. That give us the strength to continue in serving you, O Lord. Nagpapasalamat kami, O Diyos, dahil napakabuti niyo sa aming buhay. And we know that this miracle, O God, of Lazarus, is really to remind us again that we need to strengthen our faith in you, God. That we will continue, even in our darkest days, to continue in serving you. Kahit gaano mang kahirap po, Diyos, if it is your will, and it is for the glory of God, we will push through to what you have said. Lord, thank you for this wonderful message. It is very simple, very uh, easy to understand, but we need to know that it is you who control our lives. You are the one who will judge us if we will continue or not in our journey in this world. Thank you for everything. These are things we ask in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen.
Yes. So, mixing of sir, exhortation lang po for the sacrificial offering. So, yung sacrificial offering po natin ginagamit po for the additional na mga kailangan po ng especially UPM. Last week po nangingi si Brother Mark ng uh, stand ni Brother Mark ano <laughs> sa order niya. So, nasyukansi po na tutugunan po yung lahat ng next time pa kote-kote. Okay. Dahil po yun sa mga extra sacrificial offering na binibigay niyo for the Lord. And uh, meron pa po ibang napagagamitan ng sacrificial offering po. And uh, gusto ko lang pong bigyan ng emphasis yung uh, o oh, explain sa inyo. Yung embryo po na hawa ko, since kami po yung nasa finance na po. Ito pong blue na to, di ba meron po tayong tansin opening. Uh, kung alam na po natin paano magbigay sa Panginoon, dito po natin ilalagay. Uh, red or blue and blue. Amen. Pag magta-tries po tayo. Okay? And then, pag uh, mag-operate naman po tayo, dito po sa brown envelope. Ayan, brush po yung ating mga uh, gang ministry para ma-assist po kayo kung anong envelope po yung, for example po, um, salary na natin gusto natin magbigay ng tithes or may na-receive tayong blessing. Kahit hindi na, di pa tayo salary, may na-receive tayong blessing at gusto natin mag-tithes dito po. Kahit hindi na po ilagay yung name, between you and God na lang po nakakalam. Amen. <coughs> Alam naman po ng God kung tapat tayo o hindi. Then opening po dito po. Sa brown envelope. Clear po. Yeah. And yung extra sacrificial po. So, hindi na po natin lalagay sa envelope. Ito po naman ni galing sa puso natin. Sarisa natin nga na... Uh, sinabi nga po ng second Corinthians. Hindi ako nagkakamali. Sa seven. Sabi niya, each one must give us he decided in his heart not reluctantly or under compulsion for God loves a cheerful girl. Amen. Wala pong amount <clears throat> wala pong amount yung inihingi ang Panginoon sa pagbibigay natin but mahal ng Panginoon ang mga nagbibigay. Amen. So bago ko kolektahin gusto ko ipag-pray muna natin yung bibigay natin sa Lord para ng tanetsyon. Amen. So let's pray. <clears throat> Father God, salamat po sa mga blessing na nanggaling sa iyo, Father God. We just want to give you, Panginoon, lahat ng aming mga source ay galing po sa iyo, Lord God. We ask this, the, uh, this time, Panginoon, to bless, Panginoon, ng aming mga brothers and sisters na nagbibigay. Lord, open your gates of heavens, Panginoon, to pour out the uh, blessing, Panginoon, sa aming mga brothers and sisters. Whenever na kung ano man ang kanilang needs, Father God, in all aspects of their lives, Lord, we pray na ibalik mo ito na uh, abundantly, Father God. And Lord, uh, mga blessing na to, may we use us, Lord, for, for your glory, Panginoon, Lord God. Lord, salamat po. We give you glory and honor that you deserve. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
tayo sa ating closing prayer and meditation na uh, mamuna mo tayo ni Pastor Ray Gamos. Tayo po lahat ay uh, tumayo. Let, uh, let us all rise. Tatanda po tayo sa closing and benediction. Closing and benediction. Amen. Thank you, Father, sa hapong ito. Thank you for this afternoon. Thank you for the life of uh, Pastor Marlo that you use today to deliver, to deliver your word, Father. Thank you for the, for the message that we received today. We really like, Father, it is truly that we want to see your glory. We want to see your glory because you are the one who form us. You are the one who bring us into this life. You are the one who show love when we sin. And you give us your salvation. You are the God who is greater that we like to glorify. We want to see your glory, Father, not in a miracle, not in a sickness of healing, not by providing us what we need, but we want to see your glory working in our life, working in the life of every believer, that when we believe, we can see that glory. You teach us that you are God. You strengthen our pain. And we show you show us that we have to believe in you. That we have to believe in the cross that your son did. Father, thank you very much that you give us a courage. A courage to follow you so that we can see your glory. A courage that uh, you teach us that if you if you die for us, you give us a courage to do the same. Only to see your glory. And we believe to the eternal life that you gave us. Thank you very much, Father, for the word. Show us, teach us to deny ourselves and to take up our cross in following you, Father. Thank you to the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Thank you to the Holy Spirit who guide us. Thank you for your love. And because of all of this, your Holy Spirit, your Son Jesus Christ, and your love, Father, we believe. And show us more of your glory in every day of our life. our hand and bless our God. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Ayaw po muna ayaw po lahat. Ayan. At uh, 
tayo. Kung mga bisita natin, i-acknowledge natin. Asan yung mga, yung mga, sino yung mga list of our visitors? Pastor Edme, ay, Pastor, Pastor Ronnie, Pastor Dennis, and po. Asan? Paki-assist na lang po to, uh, to give this uh, token of appreciation na nakasama natin yung ating po mga kapatid. Ayan po, meron po tayong visitors ngayon. Okay. Of course, si Pastor Marlo. Ayan, visitors from Sharjah. Okay, a pastor of, uh, from Sharjah. Okay. And of course, uh, we want to acknowledge also Brother uh, Delverio C. Alday. Brother uh, Delverio. Okay. Ayan. Meron po kami ngayon din. Meron po kami binibigay na token of uh, appreciation. Meron po tayong binibigay na token of appreciation para sa mga bisita natin. Diyan po. At uh, gusto ko po tawagan si Sister Vanessa Ortiz. Ate Vanessa. Ayan. Salamat po sa pagdalong. Salamat po at uh, nakasama natin si Brother uh, Del Pirio Alday at saka Sister uh, Vanessa Ortiz. Nawa, hindi po ito ang huli. At uh, ang una at huli na makasama po namin kayo na pag-worship sa ating tunay na Diyos. Amen? Palapawa po natin ang mga bisita natin. At uh, may gagawin po tayo sa tali. Kilala niyo po si Pastor Eric yung uh, taga-BCF. Okay. Uh, birthday po niya. At uh, the uh, BCF want to give a surprise uh, uh, birthday greetings. Okay, Pastor Eric. So, ang gagawin po natin, nasaan yung video? May video ba tayo dyan? Ayan, di video tayo. Si SNK uh, kay Brother uh, Dino. Okay. Uh, we will all greet. Unang-una. Ano ba unang-una? Tipikira nung muna ako. Okay. Ah, hindi. Magsasalita ako. Para hindi naman sa ato dyan. Magsasalita ako and then after that uh, we will all greet uh, Pastor Eric. So dapat dito ka. Ayan. Ayan. Ganyan. Ayan. 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 Tapos. Direct to me. Direct ka. Direct to me. Direct to me. Direct to me. Tapos. Pag nalapot ko sa salita. Sige. Susundan mo lang ako. Ha? Susundan mo lang ako. Tapos hanggang makapokus doon. Okay? Then after that. Pag sabi ko ng happy birthday, mag-happy birthday kayo lahat. Okay? Okay, okay. Dahan na, ha? Yan, ha? Ah, yan, yan. Okay, okay. Wala lang date ko to, ha? Okay. Okay. Pag kung gano'n sa kasama, baka ikaw lang mamarinig. Dapat ako. Okay? Okay, game na. Game na. Okay. Game na ba? Okay. Camera? Action! Action! Ayan. Pastor Eric, In uh, behalf of uh, the whole family of GICM, Dubai, Sharjah, and Najman, you are a big help in this ministry. Marami ka na share sa amin and we want to greet. This is a very special day of yours. Nang uh, happy, happy birthday sa lahat, sa, sa, sa buhay mo. At uh, the whole church want to greet you a happy birthday. Happy birthday! Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Pa. Ang ang lunch natin. Ano ba lunch? Dito lang sa labas o sa kapilang building? Diyan lang sa labas, okay? So we will pray our lunch and then uh, we will uh, go out and uh, the, the, uh, the usual uh, place that we, they gave us, no, dun sa dulo, dun sa dulo. Okay? Let us all pray. Uh, Father God, thank you for the spiritual blessing that we receive. And uh, thank you very much also. At uh, nagkasama-sama kami na magpuri sa inyo, Father, mag-worship to you. And Father, we also want to thank the physical food, physical blessing that we will uh, about to receive. Thank you very much for all this uh, provision na ibinigay niyo sa amin. 
I-bless nyo nga po ito at patuloy na gawin kalakasan ng aming katawan. Ang lahat ng papuloy, pinapalik po namin sa inyo sa tayong paalamang Yesus. Amen! Amen!